<laughs> We're Ben and Emily and we've just bought this ambulance. We're going to convert it into a tiny home on wheels. We've been living on an narrowboat for the last three years, travelling the UK waterways, but we've taken a mooring and bought a van to convert into something we can travel further in. This week, the build begins. Let's do this. The first thing to do was remove the large cupboard at the rear of the van. We needed it gone so that we could fit the bed across with ways. You may be wondering why there is a hole in our nice wall. Well, it's because we've decided to kind of extend the space. This is where the bed's going to be. Um, we want it to be slightly wider. We've, we've worked out that we can get about another four inches width out of the van if we take it back a little bit. Yes, there'll be slightly less insulation, but I think it'll be worth it. So we've cut a little inspection hole to see what the wall was actually made of. And it isn't just plastic, it's really thick ply and then the insulation. So Benny's using this incredible ruler. Purpose made. Is it working well? It's a quite a specific tradesman ruler. <laughs> Put your whole arm in it. And there's loads of dials and switches in there. Next, it was time to remove this inbuilt chair. It was very well secured and took us about two hours to get it free. Oh, okay, so. I think we've got this chair out, so let's see if it's gonna come out. Careful with that fan. It's oh, the fan attached. The wires seem to go around the bottom of it. Oh my god. <laughs> what? Oh crumbs. So this is what it's looking like. Head torch. So that's part of the diesel heater fan. Uh, yeah, there's cables everywhere. Most of them aren't connected anymore. So we're going to have to have a look at this and see how we can detach it. It is gone! So we had to hacksaw hack through the frame of the chair because a load of the cables were threaded through and I think some of them are live still. But it is gone. There is the chair. And there's the space. Yeah, we've got loads more space now. I think that'll be us for today. Emily's made us some food, so we'll just tidy up a little bit and then go have something to eat. Hey Alan, we've just come back inside. Dave's grabbed the ciders. I was just going to have a slug of cider. There's a big slug trying to get at your cider, Dave. Yeah, well, I'm going to get there first. <laughs> You've got to give him a bit. That's disgusting. It's funny how they know they know when there's cider about, don't they? And it comes yeah. Swarming. Slugs? Yeah. Are they really known for... Oh, my God, there's loads of them! The bag's full! No! Oh, oh, my God, what? Oh, man. Oh, they're so cute. Look at his little face. Welcome back, it's time for another magnificent unboxing. <laughs> oh my, that's quite, that looks so uh, decent. This is a skylight and also an extractor fan. But it also pushes air in, doesn't it? It's like... So it's an intractor fan. <laughs> Hopefully it'll only take 20 minutes. Um, yeah, it's an absolute so this is the fan that we're getting rid of. easier than drilling for a boat. I cut a hole in our van roof as it was time to fit the new van skylight. Emily used layers of mastic tape and Sikaflex to seal the skylight in place before screwing it down. That's what I call a Max fan. <gasps> Look at it ah, go! Time for it to close down for the day. <laughs> oh, yeah. We have successfully put the ceiling fan in. Ta -da! And then 
then that is done. But we will be taking it back down again because we need to tongue and groove it. But we're just putting it up for now to keep it nice and neat and stuff. But yeah, amazing. Good work, guys. Hurry up. Awesome. Well, the build's coming on pretty well. We've been talking a lot today about our trip to Italy, what we're looking forward to, and yeah, just very much looking forward to getting on the road. But none of this would be possible without our van insurance. So we've actually teamed up with Sterling Insurance to insure our van. Now they can insure camper conversions, standard campers, weird and wacky conversions, any vehicle. And they've been really brilliant. They've been lovely to talk to, great customer service. And we obviously have quite an unusual lifestyle. So even if you live full time on the road or you're a continuous cruiser, they'll be able to insure you. Definitely recommend going checking them out. We'll put the link in the description. But for now, on with the build. It's sunny today, finally. Still very cold though. Today I'm going to finish off the wheel arches and hopefully start building the bed. My dad's writing a book at the moment, so he's gonna be joining me later once he's done some of, some of his writing. We've decided not to tongue and groove the roof because we kind of thought it was just like plastic with insulation behind it, but it's plastic with ply. And then we've put extra insulation behind as well because we can get to it all. Um, so it's already got quite a lot of wood in there. We don't want to make it heavier. So we're not going to tongue and groove it. So it's going to be a bit of a different look. But Benny has made these little inserts that will fit into these spaces where the old strip lights were. So they look really lovely. They're not quite finished yet, we're just putting them up so that we can decide whether we want to varnish them or paint them white or paint them. So yeah, like we've, we've ordered some little spotlights that will sit into here. I think they're great, Benny. Thank you. You look like you're ready to go somewhere. I am, I'm going out in a minute. Going into town, getting some su yes. supplies. Yeah. Thanks. I'm going to get on and finish these wheel arch boxes and then we'll start building the bed. <laughs> Look who it is! <laughs> you look like the Grinch! An orangutan in the wind. <laughs> I have spent all day so far building the wheel arch boxes. The reason we've done that is just so that there's like a flat top to them so that we can use them a little bit more. We've made it so there's a little bit of a lip so things won't fall off so easily. And my dad has spent all day cutting and sanding all the bits for the bed. So that is the next step to build the bed. I think I mentioned in one of the other videos, it's gonna be like a pull out bed. So it's gonna be three foot from the back door and then two foot will pull out. And the reason we've made these recesses is just to make it, I know it's not much, but a slightly longer space because it's not quite long enough to stretch out. We've also got some other ideas for that as well, like a little extension that's gonna come out if we need to pull it out so that we can have even more length, so. But that is for another time, <laughs> I'll tell you about. Look what Benny's just bought me. It's nearly Valentine's Day. He's bought me a new drill. Cause our other one, it's good, but well, it's on its way out. There's no, not enough room for three of us to build in here. So I think Benny's making some music today. You come to check on us. What do you think? You ready for some adventures in here? What is this? Look! And then it pulls out. Another oh, two yes. foot. So happy with it. Look at that. Wow, it looks brilliant. Oh, it's so comfy. <sighs> Why bother with a mattress when you can lie on wood? Great, yeah, it's a really good width actually. Yeah. Just so you guys know, Dave hasn't suddenly got really short, he's stood outside the van. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice one! Well done. Good work! Good so tomorrow... It's beginning to look like a van camper now. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I've just been out today, I went and got some cookies and what else to do. You went and got the new lights? Yeah, picked up the lights. So we're going to have some of these little friends, LEDs, that are going to sit in these, that way, which I'm going to wax up. You're gonna make it. You're gonna use like brew wax, aren't you? And then we've got you? little metal buttons that you push in to turn them on and off, so you'll be able to switch it on and off at the light. 
That's going to be good. Pretty handy. So yeah, I'm going to do a bit of that now. Wire, wiring up and stuff. Well, maybe I'll go. Maybe I'll go cook some dinner then. Yeah, it's a, a lovely sunset. Ah, oh, right. I've just switched the sun, so it's going dark. We can get a bit of light. Right, here we go. Right, I'll have to get the multimeter on that. Because it's right there. Have you had all of the cookies? Or I had one, I had my allotted cookie. It seems like you had a lot of sugar or something, Benny. I'm just excited for you guys for making that bed. <laughs> Tomorrow we're going to build the shower cubicle, hopefully, maybe. Uh, we need to go and pick up the wood burner. We've bought a little wood burner for in here. The reason we want to build the shower cubicle next is so that we can get the wood burner in because it is freezing. I know we've got a diesel heater, but that runs off the batteries. And because we're not running the engine, obviously, while we're just parked here, we don't want to just, you know, um, run the batteries out. So, yeah, we're going to get the wood burner in and then we can be all toasty while we're working. Day three of the build. Is it day three? No. What day is it? Like day five. Day X. Some day of the build. Not sure what that is. It's already late in the day because we've spent the last two and a half hours trying to work out something. We've worked it out. Me and my dad are gonna go to B&Q now, go and grab the things we need. And Benny is going to pick up the new wood burner. While we're building the shower cubicle, which we have changed the design of now, um, Benny's gonna go get the wood burner. So hopefully we can get the wood burner in tomorrow. Exciting stuff. How are you two feeling? Great. Inspired. Oh good, I'm glad that's uh, high power. That's good. Right, let's go then. Nice hair. What's happened to- I like my Roxy music look. It's a strong look. <laughs> You're in build mode, aren't you? Yeah. Here's your update, guys. Me and my dad have been to B&Q got everything for the shower cubicle. We've started building that. Benny's just got back with the wood burner, so we're gonna go get that in a sec. This is the situation so far. So it's gonna be like an extra bench. It's gonna have a fold over lid on there. So we swapped these lights, because they were halogens before. So oh, they're, they're cute. Should we go get the wood burner? I wanna see it. Mm, yeah. <laughs> is it good? <laughs> Yeah, it's very good. Okay, yeah, let's go get it. I want to see it, I want to see it. You said it's tiny. Okay, it is definitely tiny. <laughs> the suspense is What's it? Free what's it? Bleached what's it? What flavour are they? Uh, vanilla. That's dim sorted. We're going to lose some, aren't we? Oh, it's lovely. Little Lenny. There he is. <laughs> Gosh. That's really nice. How does that go in like this? Oh, that's so well made, isn't it? It's lovely. That is going to be so nice in here, isn't it? Mmm, it's perfect. What are we doing now then? Is that it for today? Dinner. It's dinner. We well, can make the stand if you want. Maybe Benny can make dinner and me and my dad can be making the stand for this. Mm. Is that well, okay? That's fine, yeah. But there's no food till you've made it. That's a bit harsh. <laughs> Joking. Morning. Measuring up? Yep. Nice. So me and my dad didn't actually manage to build the platform for the wood burner last night. Because we took so long trying to figure out what height it needed to be and all sorts. And then it was dinner time, so I'm doing that this morning. And you're doing more lights? Yeah? Yeah, Yeah. so I'm wiring some lights in. We detached the original lights and all the power went off to all of them. So I think they must be linked in like a series. But there's several cables to each light. They're fluorescent lights, so they had like a plastic starter box with more cables going into those. And as soon as I took one off, there wasn't power to any. So we're just putting in our own wires. So it's a bit... Benny's vibing this it, morning. <laughs> it's a bit time consuming, but I think it's going to be better. 
Alan, your bed's coming soon. <laughs> Do you like it in here? A little kitty disco over there for you. <laughs> We've got lights and toast. What on earth have you got on that? Cheese pickle and cheese. Pickle. That looks amazing. This is what we're looking at though. <laughs> oh, that is so yeah. cool. So I've done that for each light hole. Good job. Yeah. This is where we're up to here. So next we need to cut this piece of ply for the top of here. So you may be wondering, while Dave, Emily's dad, staying here, where is he actually staying? Well, I'll tell you. We've gone and made the little boat Rambler into a little bit of a and b situation for him. So, we've got out the bed. Oh, it's a bit dark in here. Fresh bed in, little flying cats in space. So, perfect. So that goes on here for the wood burner. Look at that. Nice. And then Benny's just cut this tile. Um, first go, cut it first, as well. Yeah, well, it just broke in the wrong place, it's fine. But I think that's still great. It's gonna look oh, real nice. Really nice. So nice. So then, the, we need to drill four holes through that. I've got a special drill bit. Okay. And then we will bolt the wood burner down onto that. Yeah, that looks really tidy actually. <laughs> so, currently trying to drill through the tile. I'm sure lots of you will have tips of how to drill through a tile properly, but we're having some problems. We've got a drill bit that's specially for tiles, but it's taken Benny how long? Probably like half an hour to drill through two holes. It's taken a while. It's so laborious that he stood there just drilling with a cup of tea. <laughs> We've been making a hole for the wood burner to go through, chimney of the wood burner, and uh, there seems to be a big metal plate right there, which isn't to do with the structure of the van, it's something else, and it seems to go that way, and there is one on that side too. I thought it was like a conduit thing, it's got wood on the top. For wires. And Dave thinks that it might actually be just like something structural yeah. for the inner I ceiling. I think it's like a way that they've battened it, it's just yeah. like... Yeah, it's a way of battening, isn't it? The way that they've like glued it. So we're about to cut through the metal and see So we're going to cut it. this chunk out, see if it's full of wires or not. I don't I'll think be careful. it will be. And it's that we can't do it anywhere else, it's exactly where we need to put the chimney. <laughs> It is wood, Woohoo! not wires. Yay! Oh, that's good. It's riveted right there anyway, so it's it's held there. Yeah. Cut it across, it should be It'll be, be held all the way along. Taking a tiny little bit out won't be a problem. Yeah. And it's not structural to the van, it's just a bit of a support for that bit of plastic. Yeah, okay. It's happening, guys! It's happening! <laughs> it's going to be dark though soon. Are you through? Hi. Okay, it's time to put the wood burner in. Right. They look so cute. Right, I've cut the rubbery thing for you, but I don't know if it's going to be too small. It's in. Benny's put the rubber trim around the outside and I'm just getting the cowl ready but look how cute that is. I'm gonna let me put this light on. Little tiny hat. I think it's raining a little bit. <laughs> Are you happy? Yeah it looks wicked. The chimney's definitely a little bit shorter than it was supposed to be as in I've measured it wrong but it does work. It's just more discreet which is kind of cool. These um, cupboards have made a very good ladder. <laughs> so 
still haven't um, bolted it down yet, but we'll do that tomorrow. You happy? Good work. Yay. I think that's nice. It's teamwork. I built the cupboard and Benny put the wood burner in. <laughs> I love it. We're not going to light it tonight, are we? The only reason I don't want to light it tonight is because that cowl is like sat really low down. Yeah. Because we haven't finished that properly. Yeah. Well, I think that's been a pretty successful few days of building. It's happening very fast. It's, it's all right, isn't it? We've got a bed. We've got nearly a shower cubicle chair thing. We've got the wood burner in. Benny's put some of the lights in. What else? Yeah. And we're we've, doing it yeah. fast, but hopefully not rushing it too much. Mm. I, think I think we're doing a good job, though. We're taking care of what we're doing. Next, we're going to be finishing the shower tray, building the bench down there. And then I guess we'll have to start thinking about the water system. Yeah, we'll be plumb doing some plumbing. Quite worried about that one. Don't know what bits plumbing, we need. <laughs> more electrics. Then we've got to start putting more of the aesthetic top touches of wood and well, borders. I, and one minute, one minute. Before we start kind of doing thing. the aesthetics, we need to build the blooming kitchen. <laughs> Forgot about that bit. Oh yeah, the kitchen. <laughs> um, we're going to need a kitchen, aren't we? Yeah, we are. For all the culinary wizardry that we're going to unleash. We might be using the oven that's in Rambler, but we're not sure yet. We need to test we it. We need to test if it works, and we just need yeah. to see if that's what we want. Kombucha. It's delicious. That's strawberry and raspberry. Thanks so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. Thanks, guys. There's lots more to come next week. Thanks to our patrons and everyone who's bought us a coffee and everybody who watches what we do. Thank you. And thank you so much for all the very encouraging comments. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And hello to all of our new subscribers as well, because there's quite a lot of you who've now joined us. So we will see you next week. Bye. Goodbye.